revelations about the church that's in prison in Rome after being whipped and after being, you know, I can say cast out in the, in the, in the deepest uh, cell of all, really deep and human and, and dark, he, re he received through the Holy Spirit the revelation of the body of Christ. The church as the body of Christ, as an instrument of God to confuse and dethrone the forces of evil. See, at the beginning of the, of the apostolic ministry, everything was about receiving God and being baptized in the Holy Spirit. But as, as the church was growing and developing, and the Holy Spirit told Paul and, and showed him and revealed him, it's not only that, the church is the body of Christ. And it is, it is united in Christ. There's no denominations. This is why I always say there's no denominations. There is no big names. The only big name is Jesus Christ. It is the Lord of Lords. It is God Himself. Hallelujah. Because the church, the, the church that uh, was revealed to Paul was a body. Now, when you have a body that is spread apart, it's it's, it's dead. It is a mutilated body. But the church that Paul received and he saw in the vision, what is a body? It was a body. And the Spirit told Paul, this body will be my instrument to confuse the enemy, to dethrone the enemy, to bring down the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. That's why the first chapter of Ephesians encourages you to understand that you have been chosen by the grace of God. Amen. That you are not just anybody. That you are not just another uh, person coming to church. That you're not just another person just uh, lifting, up, lifting up your hands and singing songs with no meaning. You have been chosen by the almighty God to dethrone, to confuse, and destroy the evil work of Satan in this world. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Te adoramos, Dios. Gracias, Señor. The vision reveals the, the, the mystery of the church like no other uh, epistle. The secret intention of God for the church and contains three, three objectives, ob objectives. I'm sorry. First, to form a body that will express the plenitude of Christ over the earth. The first thing that the church is doing is to reveal, to reveal and show the world the plenitude, the, 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 uh, the greatness, the holiness of God, of Christ all over the earth. That's why the Bible said that we have been created to His image. Amen? Hallelujah. When you go in the morning to your mirror before you go to work and you see yourself and you look at yourself and you say, you know what? I'm a mess this morning. You got to correct that way of thinking. You got to say, I am somebody that has been created and made according to the image of God. And I believe God is a beautiful God. I believe God is a perfect God. I believe God is a holy God. So if I have been created according to his image, so am I. I am a beautiful person. I am a glorious person. I am somebody pretty. I am the prettiest thing of all. Amen. In fact, I could be the next, the next Miss America or the next uh, Mr. America. Hallelujah. I know some of us have trouble doing that. I know for a fact Brother Santiago has no trouble at all telling himself that he is beautiful. Amen. Amen. He even comes straight up to my face and tell me, Pastor, I'm so beautiful. <laughs> Look at this figure. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why the pastor is it's, it's doing a diet because I, I want to be as beautiful as he is. Hallelujah. <laughs> I know my son-in-law, Josh, has no trouble and no problem whatsoever telling me how beautiful and how awesome he is. <laughs> he, he, got, he has the guts to come and tell me that I've been blessed for having him in my family. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. 
And in fact, he's been a blessing. But I've been more, a bigger blessing in his life. Because he, think he, he thinks he shows Carlene. But he doesn't realize that Carlene was the one who shows him. Hallelujah. So we chose to have him in our lives. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, that's just kidding. I love him very much. Just that I, you know, he was away for a couple of months and I miss him so much that I'm going to give him a hard time today. 